Mumbai's neighboring city Thane has seen phenomenal growth in recent times yet this lake city also houses the highest number of dangerous and illegal structures but there is a hope with the Maharashtra government announcing a cluster redevelopment policy for the region a move that could boost development in Thane what can we expect and is Thane set for a radical makeover Ashwini Priyolkar has this story This pile of dust and rubble once used to be a multi-story building which housed several dozen families before collapsing due to age and neglect. Similar scenes threaten to play out almost every monsoon in Thane as nearly 2600 dilapidated buildings stand on the verge of ruin. The people living in these buildings have little choice but to stay on. Like is to har har ek building mein purana building hai to kuch bol bhi nahi sakta hai. बहुत से यानी समझो दस में से आठ बिल्डिंग सही सही जो सब जुना हो गया है लाइक पूरा बिल्डिंग है कलस हो गया है। But now it looks like their long wait is over, with Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis recently rolling out a cluster redevelopment scheme for Thane. The policy lays out a framework to develop Thane in a planned manner, while rehousing thousands of people living in dangerous buildings. Fifty percent population of Thane is residing in slums, and this development is haphazard manner. There are no civic amenities, so development of these illegal structures and slum area. This is a basic objective of this cluster development. So, what are some of the key features of this cluster redevelopment policy? The Thane Municipal Corporation has selected a total of eight test clusters, which will be developed under this scheme. An FSI of four will be offered, and private developers will be allowed to select and develop clusters. whose area will be a minimum 8000 square meters in size for people living in dilapidated buildings homes of 323 square feet will be offered while slum dwellers will get 269 square feet homes developers will need to get 70% consent of the people living in each of these clusters to start their work however according to the experts getting the 70% consent will not be easy in fact cluster redevelopment is much more complicated because the size of project is larger because you need to take that many more consents from people etc and and consent is something which ends up taking the longest the government is also hoping to give a major boost to affordable housing through this policy but the developer community is skeptical given the challenges in the case of uh, affordable housing we have had a lot of challenges in the past however i think uh, if we can cross subsidize some of this as well as bring about rationalization of taxes for the purposes of the segment of affordable housing it's possible to get into that niche however there will be a poorest of poor segment which is the economically weaker section which requires much more cross subsidy biggest challenges in front of thane municipal corporation will be to cater to the additional population which will be added to the city after creation of new housing stock which essentially means that the corporation will have to upgrade its existing infrastructure in mumbai ashwini priyolkar ndtv time to take a short break and after the break all your queries regarding home loans to be taken up in the expert segment 